Hey, what's going on with you? BQ checking in for the Impact Lounge. First things first, it is YouTube month for the Impact Lounge brand, and this is the number one place to be for the Impact Wrestling fan. Trying to hit that 5,500 subscriber mark, and we're getting real, real close. So if it's your first time here, consider that subscribe button and giving the video a thumbs up. Little discussion topic for you guys this morning, little question for y'all uh, this fine weekend. Do you think we will ever see the reformation of the, the decay? Will they ever, ever reunite? get back together do you think we're ever going to see this in any way shape or form on impact television now this could be you know just steven rosemary it could be you know abyss coming back eventually at some point um but this is something that online we you know people have been talking about this a lot lately because obviously steve appeared at the rebellion show and I don't. I have no clue for sure. This is strictly speculation. I, I'm speculating he wasn't the initial planned partner. If the Rebellion pay-per-view was going to have that match, I'm sure they had someone from ECW or TNA's past or something like that. Uh, I mean, I guess Steve's from TNA's past, but even though everyone was really excited with him as a guest or a surprise appearance, I should say, it was real random. So, you know... I feel like that tells us it was probably somebody else. And we don't know if Steve is back long term. You know, we've had a couple episodes since. They haven't said anything about him. Um, I don't know what he's been saying on social media, really. So we don't know if he's back full time or if it was just a one-off type of thing. But people now, since we've seen him back, have like, oh, we really want to see the, the reunite. That's not even a word. The reuniting of the decay. Now... There was something that this this pissed off a lot of people. I think people felt like their intelligence was really insulted. But during the broadcast, Josh was basically saying this crazy Steve from the menagerie. And that's not how we remember him. Because obviously the decay was something that was much more successful, much more popular. Especially during a... I don't want to call it a darker time of TNA. It was just, it was just a time where... There was no buzz. Nothing was going on. You know, it was like just the people who were loyal to the company were watching it. And that was it. You know, not, nothing hot. And uh, the decay was really the hottest thing for a while. And they got into the thing with the Broken Hardies. And that should have really elevated them to the next level. But instead, I don't want to call it a burial. You know what I mean? I, I, I don't think that was the case. But after the whole angle with the Broken Hardies... As cool as it was, it was like, what the hell do we do with the decay from here? You know, because they were so dominant for a while. And it was over before we were ready for it to be over. And, you know, Steve asked for his release and uh, wanted to try his hand, trying to, you know, trying to try out for NXT. And, you know, it didn't work out. But I got to tell you guys this. I have seen Steve and Rosemary team up once on the indies. This was, this was after Rosemary got hurt. So she competed, but she she took very little in the way of bumps. She she didn't even really she tagged in like once or twice, but it was very short. You know, for the most part, the guys wrestled, and I I can't remember who their opponents were for the life of me. But I can tell you that their merch type table was very very popular. And this particular this was a tried and true pro wrestling in uh, in Tennessee, and I can tell you that. Nick Aldis was there with the NWA Championship. Um, uh, oh gosh, who else was there? You know, Crimson was there. Uh, Jeff Jarrett was there with with Karen, and this was right after he was inducted into the not inducted, but they announced his induction for the Hall of Fame. So you know, he was a pretty big deal there. Samuel Shaw was there, and he's the was the champion of that company. A very long, long had a very long reign, so he was really popular there. And there were there was quite a few names to be honest with you, and the uh, Steve and Rosemary's table was, I mean, you're in that line for almost a whole intermission, you know. So it's obviously a very popular brand. Um, they have a lot of lot of uh, chemistry together, but you have to think about okay, so the you know the whole menagerie thing. I've been thinking lately, since they didn't want to acknowledge the Grand Championship on television as a title, 
that because Billy Corgan was kind of, you know, the decay was kind of a Billy Corgan thing, it almost seems like Impact wants to erase that the decay even happened, which, which again, would be really, really unfortunate. And it, but it would, it's, it's insulting our intelligence because anyone watching the product right now knows of the decay. And probably a lot of people completely forgot about the menagerie. And when Steve came back, he was kind of like a cross between the two gimmicks. But I think it's it's um, for Impact to do that if they really are just trying to discount everything Billy Corgan did with the company. I don't think that's that's fair. I think it's uh, you know immature, regardless of what kind of you know beef they may have, because sometimes you just want to be the bigger person, you know. And I don't think Impact should appear to be making enemies with people. I think they should just you know be the bigger person and just hey yeah he was the you know they were part of the decay josh did mention that steve and rosemary had like a prior friendship or relationship or or something i mean he he did acknowledge it but definitely not under under the name of uh, the decay so i feel like we're going to see some kind of something on screen at some point where they maybe run into each other you know, but I don't think ever think they'll they'll get back together and form anything. I don't think they're going to form a new decay. That's something a lot of people have been talking about too, which I think that's kind of fantasy book, and I don't see anything like that happening. But if you got if you look at the new Rosemary character, which we all love Rosemary, but um, you know I've said on my podcast and everything, I'm not really into what they're doing with her right now. But I'm I'm open to see where it ultimately leads. But I'm not I'm not a big fan personally many of you are i'm not a big fan personally of what they're doing with her at the moment so it would be hard to imagine they could take that character bring it together with crazy steve and and put anything together at this point in time so do i think they could get back together as a team full time or anything like that i i think there's a very slim chance of that happening but i think when it's all said and done they will run into each other one day again on impact programming. But, you know, let me know your thoughts. If you really think it's possible that we're ever going to see the decay come back in any way, you know, it would probably be the best nostalgic thing they could do in all honesty. If you're, if you're trying to like really build uh, some excitement with people, but I think they're very committed to whatever they're doing with Rosemary right now. And I can't imagine that they would um, change course on that. So, uh, let me know your, your thoughts in the comments. Um, everything I'm saying here is just kind of off the cuff. So sorry if I wasn't too organized with my words and thoughts. I'm about to go back inside, have a little more family time before I get ready for work. So uh, thanks for checking in with the lounge. I'll talk to you soon. Peace.